In video 4, we'll discuss the rest of the menu bar. Next up on the menu bar is the Help. If you click on it, you're going to get our Rage Help. And this will come up. It's the PDF. And you can go through it. These are all hyperlinked, so you can get to where you want to in the manual quite easily. It's an extremely well-written manual. Very few software programs have one this good. So all you have to do is bring it up and then read it. And when you're done, click out of it. Now if you go into Help again, you'll be able to reach ArtRage Support online, the ArtRage Forums, the ArtRage Member area. You can even register your ArtRage 3 online. Plus, you can change your serial number. You can auto-detect a language. It can be German, English, French, or the Netherlands. About Outrage, if you click on it, this will come up. And if you wait a couple of seconds, it'll start scrolling with different brushes and everything. It's quite nice. You're going to see who the beta users were, who designed the program, who they're thanking, and that includes you for purchasing ArtRage 2 or 3. And the little cat says, Eat Your Greens, and click OK. Now under Help Again, you can click on this, ArtRage News and Updates, and it will check to see if you've got the latest version. You might want to do that periodically. And click OK to get out. Now that's it for the help. This of course zooms Canvas out. This zooms it back. If you go in here you can write whatever you want and press Enter. So let's go back up. And this is the undo, if we had anything we needed to undo, and the redo. And let's go up a little bit more. This is the canvas positioner, which I showed you in the prior video. If you open it, you're able to do whatever you want with it. Rotate your canvas. Whee! Okay, get serious and put it to zero. You can zoom in if you drag your cursor down, zoom back out if you drag it up. Click here, you can go back to say 75 and press enter. You can move your canvas anywhere you want and you can get out. This will hide your ArtRage window into your taskbar. I can't do it because I'm recording. This will make it go up to full screen, something I can't do because I'm recording. And this will quit the application. And that's it for the whole menu bar. In the next video, we will be discussing the tools.